Look at this. Oh, look at that ice. Any fish in there today? Hi there folks, just wanted to share with you a fantastic day I had recently. Uh, it was bright and sunny, but very cold. Had three, well actually four, really hard fighting rainbow trout on cormorants, on natural flies. You'll see how hard these winter trout fight in this video. Um, first sort of fish is about three minutes in, if you want to fast forward it. Um, I've got a little bit of uh, about 15 minutes in. There's about four minutes of me at the end. Just explaining my rig that I was using, just uh, beginners might uh, find that to be helpful. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, please uh, have a look and subscribe if you'd like to see some more. Uh, feel free to comment below and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the video. And I hope your fishing's going well um, at the moment in winter 2022. Yeah, just a bit. How far out were they? I to have a problem with my, with my batteries. I think they're on their way out. I fully charged them last night. I knocked them and it said, oh, you're not charged. I said, no, I am charged. Oh, shit. Let's see how this battery does. Do -do -do. I don't know whether it's because of the cold of the batteries. I really don't know. Look at this. Oh, look at that ice. Any fish in there today? It's supposed to get up to seven degrees today, but it ain't happened just yet. So we had a crack day last week, so that's good. Yes, what a lovely fight. Oh, ho, ho. Yeah.
She's pulling. What a fight. What a fight. <sighs> there we go. Woohoo! Oh, fly, fly. What's going on here? on the dropper. That's fun. That was good. Oh, very, yeah. Yeah, that was a black cormorant, that. Yeah, self-tied as well. Yeah. He smashed it. Absolutely smashed it. That's the first fish I've had off this pontoon, yeah. literally. Bloody hell, he's hurting hard. Oh, he's taking the uh, taking the uh, point fly this time. Like that. Which again, it's a self-tied flight. He 
he's hooked right in the scissors there. A little bit. Ooh. It fights so hard. That's a lovely little fish. It's quite a nice fish, actually. Very pretty coloured fish. There we go. Let's have a look at you. Hooks come out in the net. There we go. So again. That's a self top. There we go, another fish. Fish number two on a self tie fly. Nice couple of pound fish, I reckon. Very nice. There we go. There we go. These are. Yeah. That's the other fly that I've used, which again was a self tied, but he was hooked right in the jaw there. So, right in the scissors that come out in the net. Luckily, nice. but lovely fight. Yes, here we go. Again, that's on the point fly. Ooh. Just woken up, I think, bloody hell. Lovely hobby. Oh, what a nice fish. It's actually a good size fish, actually. There we go. Right in the jawline. There we go. That's a thin, perfect fish, I think. is a lovely fish. Look at that tail. I mean, look at that. That is lovely. Look 
in that tail. Oh, look at that. Look. Favourite fly, I think. Corrent. Yeah, number three. Uh, so I carry these rig winders, which I make the rig up at home. Uh, a two fish rig, a three fish rig, wind it on. When I'm at the fishery, I can unwind it, I'm ready to go. If this gets tangled by a fish, well, okay, I've got another one in the box, I'll just use that one. So it makes you fish a bit quicker. Uh, so this one, here we go. So we're going to unwind the uh, thing. I just put some Velcro on here so I can stick it to the lid of my tackle box, which is a very useful thing. So there we go. We've got undo your droppers there. He says as he gets tangled. So, cormorant on the point. So, for those of you who don't know what cormorant is, it's a little uh, fly with black marabou wing at the top here. It's got a red head. It's got a peacock curl body uh, with some silver ribbon wire. It's pretty much it. It's a very simple fly, and it looks natural. That's the thing. And um, yeah, that's a size 10, I think. So just sink this, draw, sink, draw, and this marabou will sway in, the, in that water. It will flutter around and they love it. So I've got that on the point and I've got about five feet of airflow, six pound, um, site free, G3, my favorite material. And then I've got a dropper. So I've done the four turn water knot done my dropper on and again this is a size 10 cormorant slightly different cormorant this one uh, as you can see it's what I call a red holographic cormorant I tie these myself these flies by the way so same thing you've got your marabou at the top there uh, the body this time has got some red holographic tinsel and some mylar so it makes it nice and shiny incidentally red holographic anything is good on a bright day cormorant Dial back is another one, uh, red holographic, one of my favourite flies. This one also has um, a yellow goose biot cheek, sunburst goose biot cheek as well. Well, it had two. The fish I caught actually bit it off the other one, so changed the fly there. Um, so yeah, you've got two flies, and they'll just move as you retrieve. Both will move through the water. Both will get different depths, um, and yeah, double your chances. I had one on this one, had three on this one. But they're both in the water at the same time so you know your chances they're fishing at slightly different depths you know see see how you get on if you can tie with two if you can fly if you can fish with two flies sometimes three it wasn't very windy that day so i wasn't getting very many tangles normally i'll get some tangles and my tip to you if you've got droppers that's not a very long dropper what's that three inches don't make the droppers very long because you'll just get tangles the fish can't see this fluorocarbon Airflow G3 Site 3 six pound uh, strong as anything really, and um, the fish smashed. They absolutely they fed very confidently on those cormorants. Even though it's a bright day, there wasn't much moving. There wasn't many fish swirling on the surface. Um, they fed on those cormorants very confidently. They were solid bites. Uh, one nearly swallowed the fly. Bit one of the goose bites off. They really wanted it so. Great fun, natural fishing, no indicators, just using my line. And um, yeah, yeah, you know, the, you see the fight that they gave was amazing. You know, they, you think they were 10 pound carp, these, these trout, they'd love the cold water.